So welcome class to Recipe Reactions. I'm your host, Professor Kitchen, and what I do here is I read a recipe for the first time and I react to, you, to it, tell you what I think about it and what you're probably going to expect from making it. And today we're going to be going over uh, carrot cauliflower rice. Although there's no rice in this recipe, I don't think. I think it's rice to cauliflower, but stay tuned. Let's see what's going on with it. Riced cauliflower is a major deal in low carb or keto or any kind of diabetic friendly way of eating. And not being able to eat grains really when you're a diabetic, it, it can really be off putting. And so you get the craving for these sorts of things. Cauliflower rice is a great way to get past that. To have something that has that size and shape and that texture, although the flavor will be a bit different, but it's a great way to get that without having to break your way of eating. So let's take a look at this. The ingredients, olive oil, doesn't say how much, probably they're gonna use that for cooking it in, but let's see. Three garlic cloves chopped, love me some garlic. Half of the cauliflower head grated. Incidentally, uh, you can grate cauliflower the easiest way in my opinion to grate cauliflower is to use a um, I use a thing that I cannot think of the name of easiest way to grate cauliflower is to use a food processor you can use a food processor with a grater on the top or you can just put it chop it into chunks and put it in there and spin it up the problem with just doing the big chunks is that usually what happens is that you get some chunks that don't get chopped up they bounce around on top instead of getting chopped and you got other stuff that gets chopped a whole bunch and gets mush instead of rice. You're not looking for mush, looking for the rice texture. So we got half the cauliflower head grated. We got three carrots also grated. Those are probably, I mean, if you got the grater on your food processor, go ahead and use it. Otherwise, it's going to be easier to grate that behind. Don't, don't just do the food processor for the carrots. That's, that's just going to be a waste. 100 to 150 milliliters of vegetable stock. I don't know how much that is in in uh, cups i will look it up and i'll put it somewhere here on the screen fresh parsley fresh basil doesn't give us any amounts for either one of those one lime zested or it says one lime zest we'll find out if it's they want the juice or not in a minute 50 grams of pine nuts toasted pine nuts are very tasty but they're also very expensive and if you don't, if you have an allergy to pine, or if you don't like pine nuts, or if you just don't want to spend that kind of money, um, you have to find something else, maybe walnuts or something else. And then optional, four small or mini sausages. Mm. I love having a, a rice, I used to make it all the time before I became a diabetic, rice with chopped up sausage in it, that's so tasty. All right, but this is not what we're talking, that's not what we're talking about, we're talking about cauliflower rice. Start with grating the cauliflower and the carrots. Then chop the garlic cloves, wash the fresh herbs and also the lime. Oh, smart to wash them. Probably should have done that before you did everything else, but okay. In a larger flat frying pan, larger than what? Lar Couldn't give me a size, larger. What? In a larger frying pan, Heat some olive oil. Well, we got about, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's uh, figure out what size we need. Probably either a 12 or 15 uh, inch pan should work. But you're only using half a head of cauliflower and it's grated down. You got three carrots grated down. Uh, you got 100 to 150 milliliters of vegetable stock. That's probably going to take up a more, just as much space as the other. Ah, it's going to fill in there. Uh, probably a, a 12 to 15 inch. Anyway. Heat some olive oil. Once it gets hot, add the garlic, cauliflower, and carrots. Saute for about three to five minutes. You're going to be, this is going to work two different things in two different ways. The carrots and the cauliflower are gonna to need to be softened up a bit by the frying, and that's gonna do a lot there. Your garlic in the oil, though, is really gonna flavor that oil. Garlic has a lot of oils it wants to put out, get the oil, get frying, and boom, they just come on out, they get in the oil. You got Now you got garlic flavor all in the oil. Great stuff right there. 
fact you might even do the garlic before you put everything else in but that's not the way this recipe reads then after you sauteed for about three to five minutes pour in the warm vegetable stock season and cover with the lid that's not much of vegetable stock consequently most of it will evaporate but it will also leave some aromas okay so they're expecting most of it to evaporate let it simmer for about eight to ten minutes or until the liquid evaporates okay even though you're covering it with a lid it's still going to evaporate all right like i said i'm not exactly sure off the top of my head how much 100 to 150 milliliters is uh, like I, i'll put it here and then y'all have a better idea when you're watching this than i have right now and my glasses are very annoying all right meanwhile toast some pine nuts in a small pan until golden brown Remove the nuts from the pan and put them aside. If you can't say no to meat, using the same pan, prepare the sausages. Add a drizzle of olive oil and make sure to brown them on all sides. Browning sausage, just next level flavor. You need to do that, it's so awesome. Then add about 100 to 150 milliliters of water or water mixed with wine. Cover and let simmer for about 10 minutes or so, depending on the size of the sausages. Not sure why you need to do that. You shouldn't need need to, just browning them should be great. But you know, I'm just reading the recipe to you. At this point, chop the parsley and basil and sprinkle them over the carrot, cauliflower, or rice. In the end, grate the lime zest and add the pine nuts on top as well. So you did you ever use the no I go fresh herbs and also the lime. Okay, so. It says in the end grate the lime zest but you're going to need to do that first because you cannot grate a lime after you've chopped it it's not going to work grate that sucker first just saying and add the pine nuts on top as well give a quick toss and serve so it sounds really tasty you're got uh, going to have a lot of the lime flavor Oop, let me get better focus you're going to have a lot of lime flavor because uh, the zest right there on top if you zest your lime at the right time before you cut it up and then the pine nuts going to add a lot of crunch to it i mean it, it does sound tasty i'd be happy to try this but i'd probably make those alterations i talked about because i think that'd be a lot better i do think that adding the sausage to it browning the sausage up adding that to it going to add a lot of great meatiness if you're vegan or vegetarian and you don't want that it's not going to take away from it it's still going to be a great dish uh, you're going to have a lot some really bouncy flavors on the tongue with the fresh parsley is and parsley itself doesn't have a lot of flavor but it does have a lot of nutrition but the fresh is where you're going to get the most flavor if you cook it it kind of blends into everything else and kind of accents everything else a little bit on the you know hidden on your tongue but fresh can really pop so make sure you put uh fresh herbs always go on right before you serve right before you serve Otherwise, they get heated and they wilt and it doesn't work too well. Try this out. Let me know what variation that you tried down in the comments section. Let me know if you tried, tried it just like this recipe says or if you took some of my advice and changed it up a bit. Also, make sure you go over to this recipe on the website. And again, I'm going to put the recipe, a uh, link to the recipe down in the description box below. And tell them what you think about this. Especially if you enjoyed it, let them know that you did. Let them know you're reading, you read their blog and that you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you all for coming to class today. Hope you have a great week. God bless. Class dismissed.